Hello team and welcome to today's video for Excel on how you can use the filter function to filter your array by a range of cells and values. This is helpful because you won't have to write out multiple OR statements in your filter function. To demonstrate this example, we will filter out data from this basic candy store spreadsheet. We're gonna keep this example simple to demonstrate the formula, but in a real life situation, this would be most helpful when you have a large data set you're working with and wanting to filter by a large range of cells. Let's jump in. To begin, I'll enter in the filter function. The array for my function is my candy store spreadsheet on the left, so I'll highlight that range. After a comma for what to include, we'll enter in the isNumber function, followed by the match function. In the match function, we have two required arguments, the lookup value and the lookup array. The lookup value in our array is gonna be the store number, so I'll highlight that entire column. After a comma for the lookup array, I'll enter in an array for the store numbers that I'd like to filter by. You see I made this array a little bit longer than it needs to be currently, and that's just so I can add additional store numbers if I'd like, and this will help keep the function dynamic. After another comma, we can enter zero for an exact match, closing parentheses, and click enter. And you see, based on my selected store numbers in my store array filter, Excel pulled in the data for the candy stores, what candy they sold, and the overall gross sales. You'll see that if I enter an additional store number into my store array filter column. For example, if I enter the store number 303, you'll see that's added to my filter data. Team, I hope you found this tip helpful today. Please like and subscribe to the channel for future videos and leave comments about additional career tips you'd like to see covered.